Joining us now with his reaction, President of Citizens United and former Trump Deputy Campaign Manager, David Bossy. David, when you see what the Democrats do when they get totalitarian power, they want to take over the world at this point. This isn't a dream or a fantasy. This is a reality every American and really people around the world are having to live through. This is all about fear and power. That's all this is about. It's it's the Grinch uh, that is Dr. Fauci, St. Fauci, as some of these Democrats and liberals uh, love him so much. Uh, but he, these people are dangerous. Uh, and, and the American people have caught on to it. You look at what's going on in stadiums across the country where, uh, you know, let's go Brandon is, is being chanted all across this great land of ours. You see that the pilots, that firefighters, nurses, doctors, police officers are saying enough's enough with these vaccine mandates. We are not going to do it. And we're going to fight you if you try to force us. We're, Joe Biden is creating crisis after crisis, whether it's the crime crisis, whether it's the inflation crisis, the Afghanistan crisis, the border crisis, all of these things that we have talked about in the past. He is creating the next major crisis that we are going to face as Americans, and that is a health care uh, staff shortage in these hospitals because of this vaccine mandate. And he's creating these problems with, with air carriers and with cargo ships by creating uh, these false crises. And, and the American people feel it. Uh, they see it, and they're tired of it. And we're going to fight these people uh, until we win. Whether it's we win in three weeks in Virginia, which is going to be a clarion call for the Biden administration, because you're going to see Democrats scurrying off this burning deck of a ship that is the Biden administration if, if, if Glenn Youngkin and that team wins out in Virginia. And then it's one short year uh, to the midterm elections, and, and no one in the Democrat Party wants to do things that is just going to hand the majority back to the Republicans. So they have a lot of thinking to do, but they are a dangerous group of people. And President Trump promised us this. He told us this. He said Joe Biden is going to turn this country or attempt to turn it into a socialist nation. And he said he would never let it happen under his watch. And that's why he continues to fight. Joe Biden was the Trojan horse. We all knew it. Who was inside? And now that we see everything that's happening, we talked about socialized medicine on the campaign trail. But who would have thought he would actually achieve it by getting all of these people fired or having they're walking out of their jobs? You're having medical shortages. We've never seen shortages like this really in every industry. This is not just a takeover of health care at this point where they're sending in National Guards and they're trying to send in actual people to help staff. This is a takeover of almost every industry really in America right now, and it's going to be impacting the world. You know, I was contacted yesterday by a police officer who's a senior member of a large county police department saying that uh, hundreds, hundreds of their 1,200 uh, person for force are going to resign or be fired over the vaccine mandate coming in the next couple of weeks. This is going, you want to talk about defunding the police? Right. You want to talk about getting rid of police departments? This is part of the left's plan. This is not an accident. This is not something that's just a byproduct. This is part, they're okay with it. If, 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 if there are fewer police uh, to protect uh, the American people, they don't care. They don't care. The left is beholden to the radical elements of their base right now, and they have a, a tight grip on them. And they don't care that this adversely affects the American people in ways that we're going to pay for generationally. When Nancy Pelosi talks about she's asked about all the time and she thinks about all the time if she ruled the world, we realize this is what the Democrats think about all the time. They want complete domination of everything. That's why they want to shut down debate even in the public square. They want complete compliance, complete unity. Biden said unity and everyone said, oh, wasn't that so sweet? No, unity is conformity at this point, and it's totalitarian control. You know, that's exactly right. They hate the First Amendment. They hate what America stands for. Uh, this, has been, this has been very troubling for a long time, but the cancel culture is, again, something that they want. They believe that if you do not agree with them, 
you w- they want to cancel you. They don't. They want to shout you down. And just look today. Uh, you know, the, the, one of the reporters today in a press conference with Nancy Pelosi asked, you know, how are you going to do a better job of selling this uh, 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 infrastructure deal and uh, the 3.5 trillion to the American people? And she returned the answer by saying. You need to, you, the media, needs right. to do a better job for us to sell it to the American people. The cat's out of the bag, folks. The mainstream media is part and parcel of, of the Democrat Party. They're a super PAC for exactly. Joe Biden and the left. That's all they are. And the American people get it now. They are much smarter. Having have seen what the media did to Donald Trump for four years of his presidency, the lies that they told in 16 the lies that they tried to damage him with, and then they worked to defeat him in 2020. And the American people are very smart. And you look at Biden's plummeting, plummeting numbers across the country. He has a 38% approval rate. He is, he lies. He doesn't yes. know what day of the week it is. This is a, this is a, this is a, an administration in free fall. And I don't know that we know where the bottom is. They had four years to plot the crime of the century, and now we're going to be stuck living these consequences for the next four years. And do we have a country at the end of it? That's what a lot of people are concerned about. You see it in the polls. And again, the Democrats aren't listening to the polls, because why need polls if elections aren't free and fair? But David, thank you for the work that you're doing out there. Keep getting the word out. And we hope the municipal elections, especially all the way down ticket, are really going to make a difference this November. Thanks for having me.